All right, we're back. We're going to run another Titan through here. This time we're going to run the Sunbreaker. Uh, I like this bottom tree for these. A little more hammers on the boss, along with the, with the uh, restoring health if I catch an ad and the sunspots. Um, I think overall just better. I'm going to try a fusion grenades here. Uh, I'm going to use the rally barricade so I try and get the damage script. Uh, skip on the boss. Uh, I'm going to try to go flawless. I'm going to use a fairly, not my favorite loadout, but a fairly optimal one. Um, the Red optimal loadout for this is definitely crossed. a Void Rocket for my the Minotaurs. You save a lot of time killing those. Um, and then also, uh, as I said before, Arc Secondary you really want for um, the other set of shields that are in this, especially the uh, Harpies at the end. Um, on the boss. Um, like I said, I typically would probably go uh, better devils and on and on, on along with this arc, uh, or void rocket, but this one actually, this build is not too bad either. Um, I didn't have either of those guns on this character. I feel like really loaded them, switching them at this point. So, uh, this one's pretty optimal. Um, could also switch to the Risk Runner at the end uh, for a little extra help. Let me do that. I like to turn right at that little square that's on that second block there to help me remember. Now, if I was really safe, I could probably let these guys catch up and help me get through this part, but I'm going to show you the, the normal way to get through it here when you're going fast by yourself. There is a way to you can come over here to the side. And then uh, there's another way to bounce the sparrow up there too. I've seen. Um, you can also apparently use a sword to fly away up there through one of the teleporters. I saw a video the other day. Pretty interesting. I uh, don't know how safe it is, but this works pretty good for me. That little side jump with the Titan's pretty safe. Uh, a little safer than jumping up the corner, which I like to do a lot. Like I said, I'm going to try for a flawless here, see if I can't uh, actually do a run without making a goofy error. Um, hey, failsafe, you're all here, have fun with that. Data Any advice on an energy shield? I believe the nearby Vex constructs maintain that barrier. Well, I could have... Alright, need to get these snipers okay, out of the way first see. here, so I don't lose too much health. The second one looks like he's already dead, so that's good. Got some help. Can't tell if that other Minotaur is over there. Uh, oh, there he is. Now, I know each one of those majors is going to drop a rocket, so I can definitely use a rocket on all of these majors. They, they will swap, if you notice that. They're sneaky, man. I'm telling you. No, no need to rush really too too quickly on normal. Plenty, plenty of time. Well, that was actually my last rocket, so I have to whittle this guy. Oh, I don't know why that didn't stick him. That's a little annoying. And get a little flame help from below. Thanks, fellas. Alright, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna be a little low on rocket count. Um, use a little more. But I know there's should be four down there. And there's extra in the next section, so I'm not super worried. Again, this is the pattern that works well for me. I don't know. A lot of people are afraid of getting that ring down there. And I apparently didn't get it. Okay. Uh, I guess you, I could have walked a little tiny bit farther. Usually, if you land on the edge, you get it most of the time. I'm not sure why I didn't get it, but that happens. Hmm. Okay, 
this one can be a little difficult sometimes. Right, there's four down there. I like this auto rifle. Martyrs make um, works pretty well. It's, I got a, a free masterwork, so I just decided to keep it. Um, it works pretty well. My harpies at the end. And I know it will get me a couple extra orbs, rolling up all the harpies to get me my super when I need it. So I missed one ring, but overall, not doing too bad. Again, I'm sure there's a couple other patterns you could use in some of these parts here. You could probably start left if you really wanted to. Um, you can also leave some of these guys up. You know, I, I've done this without even and killing the two snipers the and the centurion. It's definitely possible you can pretty much avoid them if you feel like it. Um, it's much safer too, though, to get these guys down. You know, like I said, I found this spot that's pretty darn safe and pretty easy to pick them off. They have some good ranged weapons. His uh, missiles can be really, really irritating uh, and catch you at a really bad moment, even when you're sparrowing across. So, overall, I think just best to get him down. Um, if you're low on health, get some health back. Uh, I'm gonna whittle this guy's head just a little bit. Don't really need to, but. Gotta take his shield off for giggles here. And then... Shotguns can oh, really got melt you in a hurry. From the Vex. Why didn't that happen to the Red Legion? Yeah, still, like I said, I'm not even going super fast, and I have plenty, plenty of time. Plus, you know, Kate's dumb. And again, this this probably another pattern, but this one works so well. Um, don't know why to use another pattern. This. Try to land on the edge of that one to give yourself a, a quicker jump instead of having to fall down. This one you can uh, don't you just touch it with your shoulders and you control your jump enough. Uh, or you can go through it like that. Oh no. Same with this one if you can land on the edge here. Give yourself a boost up into this one. It saves you a lot of time. You can still get it with the other jumps. Um, but that definitely saves you a lot of time. I know my rockets are full, so I don't need to About get anything. That lever. There's a lever. Is that the hold of Why don't you pull it? Again, the barrel on the side there. Man, they won't drop me any ammo. It's kind of irritating. Wow. You know, it's whoa! It's okay to run from those guys and get your momentum first before activating this. Um, they do hang around there sometimes, and it, 
it takes a little while for that to be able to hit that button for some reason. I swear it used to be instant when you drop down, but now you have to wait a few seconds, so sometimes it's better just to kind of run away at first, draw them away, get your momentum, and then come back and hit it. Um, it's only going to be a little bit in a few seconds, so better safe than sorry. But again, as long as you get the button pressed, if you die, not a big deal. You, little, you lose a little bit of supercharge waiting to respawn, but you respawn up, up top and you can just wait there until it's done and come down. Not really a big deal. Uh, you can fight these guys if you want. I've got probably enough supercharge when I kill the enemies uh, in the next section waiting for the, uh, uh, before I get the next set of rings. Um, they should be fine, so not worried too much here. Again, I've done this one this before, you know, right just direction. striking another one. Wow! Whoa! Okay. He preemptively blocked me and then got me stuck and I couldn't get in there. Alright, well, that's the type of thing that happens to me always when I try for Flawless. Something always ridiculous happens. I, I, I don't know. You know, I've never, ever, ever died to that way before. And suddenly, I died to this guys. I think I got pissed, man. He cut me off. That's so unfortunate. It kind of makes me sad, because I really wanted to get at least one Flawless run. Oh my god, I can't. And then it snowballs into another death. Sweet! Alright. Not a big deal. Plenty of time, but... It definitely can be easy to get frustrated. Um, especially when you start trying prestige. You just die so quickly, so some... The dumbest little things sometimes will kill you. Pretty annoying. And you can do a thing dozens of times and nothing will ever happen and it will happen. Oh, I almost did the cool trick. Bounce up here. Go straight from here. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is uh, turning out interesting. Again, this safe pattern here. Just get this top row guys out. You can actually hear I know there's a heavy down there, so you can use a heavy if you want. Get these two guys out there. There's an exploding barrel there. So usually it kills these guys. to save themselves. Okay. There's one heavy. There's also another one up there. You know, there's two rockets at that first part. Um, again, as I've said before, there's probably other patterns through this. Um, I like this one. It's pretty safe. It gets a good chunk of the rings. To that guy, but I survived. That's interesting. Like I said, there's you know, there's a minute and a half extra down there. Um, I just don't know with one person if there's a better pattern. Um, I haven't really seen a better one. Uh, I did see some with the uh, Titan and the uh, Lion Ramparts floating around where he got a bunch, but I can't remember. I think it was Tifu uh, a little while back. I had an interesting pattern. Got a whole bunch of stuff there. Um, I use a slightly different pattern here. A lot of guys use their super right away. Uh, 
I like to use the rockets first. And that's super important. Grenade. Move. Wow, I missed him. Really? He's probably going to teleport again. I think that missed him. Um, might have missed him. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get some cascade effects by letting the team over here. Once I get here, get some healing from killing some ads. That rocket didn't quite get as much DPS on it as I wanted. Um, but, you know, like I said, I, that's why I do the two rockets first and then the super. It's a little easier when the ads are out because you catch a lot of the ads in your super instead of having to try to run away from them um, and just hit them with a couple rockets after. Again, here. Um, I can. Barrier. You have to wait when he crouches again. It's switching guns. I'm sure, one of those rockets might have gone through him. Sure. I'm not sure I got full damage out of that. Switch to another one of these. Um, the shorter ones are a little easier to glitch. There's another one that's not too bad. You can kind of. So now I don't have enough rockets left. I missed one on the first stage, and now I missed one there, or had to use an extra one there. I'm not sure if it counted, so... This isn't going quite as well as I planned. I could die two or three times here. It's just like screwed up. I could almost primary him all the way down. Although it does get a little more hectic to be able to use only primary um, toward the end here. hit by that, just try to run in a per perpendicular direction to the boss. And try not to run directly in a straight line away from the boss that's lying of fire, you'll get melted really fast. And if there's a large group of enemies, try to always run perpendicular to the enemies. Again, like he's already in the Stage, I still got five minutes left. I mean, they're just this, this strike is once you get the pattern down, once the main like the main the main part is getting those uh, phase skips on the first two phases. Um, there just ends up being a lot of time you get to use here. Not sure if that even got on. 
I, the um the other Titan grenade is pretty hard. I feel like to get him to stay in it. He seems like he'll run probably most of the time. Uh, don't sit behind a pillar too long if you're uh, fighting the ads. Um, in case you don't hear the grenade or you get flanked on an accident. That. Also try not to fight not in cover. here. Forgot about it. Not the only thing I don't like about it. It kind of puts you in risk sometimes because you gotta... It's hard to just sit back and heck glitch him. But it does give you a ton of ammo. Uh, so if you're having ammo issues, uh, it does give you some resistance to his fire. on him for quite a while without getting too in danger. Don't have to reload, you get the extra bonus damage from it. Piss-poor positioning there, just wasn't prepared, didn't reload the rocket. Didn't even really need to use it, had the grenade on, had my super ready. Uh, since all the ads are out, I could probably use Get Risk Runner off here and, and clear out the ads first. You can, and you can actually float around in this, you know, once you get your momentum up, you can actually run away up here. He will spawn multiple sets of these guys. I don't know if he spawns more than two. I guess we can find out now. Again, as long as you kind of keep going in a circle, you can stay alive here a little bit, especially with like a Titan. Just remove it so good. Hunter can do it kind of. Warlock struggles a little bit. Look like another set of ads is going to form. So I could easily uh, dump both these rockets, maybe. This was more close to my original plan. You don't even have to be close to him if you don't want to. Anyway, there we go. Not too bad, still a little sloppy though, unfortunately. No flawless for me. Those darn crappy deaths in the middle, but oh well. Oh to SO Terra there for all his inspiration. Anyway, until the next one, have a good one.